Hey y'all, my name is Martin Malelu and I'm a librarian with LA County Library. Today, we're going to talk about the life and accomplishments of astronaut Ellison Onizuka. We'll then explore an activity that will allow us to think about space. Born in 1946 in Hawaii, Ellison Onizuka took an interest in engineering at an early age. He earned a degree in aerospace engineering and a master in science degree from the University of Colorado. While in school, he was part of the Air Force ROTC program. Onizuka was employed by the Air Force designing test flight programs and safety system. He also taught engineering to other pilots. He was exceptionally good at his job, which caught the attention of NASA officials who invited him to apply for their astronaut program. Once accepted, he was chosen for the flight of the spacecraft Discovery in 1985. This mission, lasting only three days, allowed Onizuka to mark his place in history as the first Asian American in space. In 1986, after several months of training, Onizuka boarded the space shuttle Challenger. The launch of the Challenger was highly publicized due to the fact that a civilian school teacher was on board. Many people were viewing this live televised event when the mission came to an abrupt, deeply tragic end. The Challenger exploded just off the Florida coast slightly over a minute after launch. While all seven of the passengers died during this tragedy, their sacrifice, heroism, and bravery will never be forgotten. Ellison Onizuka's name and accomplishments live on, as numerous schools, astronomical features, and even a street here in LA feature his name. The soccer ball Onizuka took on the Challenger, signed by his daughter's high school soccer team, survived the explosion, and was later taken onto a space flight where it orbited the Earth nearly 3,000 times. The ball now resides in a display case in Clear Lake High School in Houston, Texas, where Onizuka's children attended school. Before we begin our activity, I want to share with you the quote from Onizuka that's printed on every U.S. passport issued. Every generation has the obligation to free men's minds for a look at new worlds, to look out from a higher plateau than the last generation. Today, we're going to do an activity where we make something that I hope inspires you every time you look at it. We're going to make a solar system keychain. All eight planets in our solar system have different atmospheres and are made out of different elements. Because of this, they are all different colors. For example, Mars is made up of a lot of iron, which oxidizes and turns a reddish brown color when it's exposed. Jupiter, on the other hand, has a lot of phosphorus, sulfur, and hydrocarbons in its atmosphere, causing it to look white, red, and brown. If you're interested in learning more about the planets, check out the Space Exploration book list linked in the description. For this keychain, I used a piece of string that I doubled up over a keyring, some scissors to cut the string, and some pony beads. I used a different color to represent each planet, black to represent the space in between the planets, and a yellow-orange-yellow combination to represent the sun. I used blue for Neptune, a lighter blue for Uranus, yellow for Saturn, orange for Jupiter, red for Mars, blue for the Earth, yellow for Venus, and white for Mercury. I put both ends of the string through the beads keeping a loop over the key ring, and then tied it off at the end. I tried to choose colors out of the ones that I had that best represented each planet. While Mercury is closer to gray than white, I feel like white was the best representation I had. Your project doesn't have to be exact. I hope you are able to create a keychain that inspires you to try your best and work towards a better future for all. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed learning about the life and legacy of Ellison Onizuka. Don't forget to check out some library resources on space exploration. Follow our account to stay updated on new videos. Bye for now.